Hey everyone, Eric Dunn at Wilkins Harley Davidson, and I have a little gift for you. I have the 2023 Rogue Glide CVO in dark platinum with scorch chrome finishes on here. Uh, we have a whole host of new premium accessories for the 2023 model year, which really bring this bike up to the next level from any previous generation CVO that we've seen. Um, so I'm gonna get right into it here. One of the biggest improvements uh, is gonna be right up front here. We now have a 320 millimeter four piston caliper brake up front, uh, up from a 300 millimeter from last year for improved braking. Also, you're gonna notice that we now have an inverted front fork with uh, some nice ride technology in it. So it really improves the handling and feel of this bike in the front end. Um, and as we just come down the side here to really dig into some of the details here, you see we got a nice newer styled Fang spoiler. You're gonna notice that details across the entire bike kind of give it a nice even flow so it looks like the bike is moving even when it's sitting still. But right below this Fang spoiler here, we do have an improved cooling system. Uh, what that does is that improves the cooling around the heads which keeps you comfortable. Also, it's designed to direct hot air down and away from the bike so it keeps it off of you and the bike as you're riding to keep you more comfortable as a rider. One of the biggest improvements that we've seen on this is the actual motor itself. We now have a 121 cubic inch uh, variable valve timing motor. So this is the M8 platform, uh, but basically the variable valve timing is gonna help with your handling, your performance, uh, and your efficiency of the motor. So pretty significant upgrade. You're gonna see we have a much larger intake than before to help with uh, cooling and air, uh, air and fuel mixture. So whole host of upgrades right on the motor itself. Uh, coming down the side of the bike, you're going to see all the body panels have been redesigned except for the rear fender. You're going to see you got a lot of cut scalloped profiles on this bike. Uh, and you're going to see that the saddlebags here are significantly improved in size and shape. So you have uh, larger aerodynamics here coming around the side. You also got more capacity in the lid for, space for your speakers, which is a stage two Rockford Fosgate audio system on this bike. But you also have more storage down below. And you're going to see you got a lot of chopped cut designs to give it that performance bagger look to it. Also right below that you're going to see we have an upgraded exhaust system for the 2023 model year. It's a four and a half inch exhaust. That's going to help improve your performance as well and uh, overall really beef up your drivetrain. Um, coming around this side of the bike here, when you get to the back you're going to notice you have a new set of taillights. Bullet turn signals are gone, integrated turn signals are gone. Everything is now in the church window taillights which is an integrated LED setup. The seat itself on this bike has also been redesigned to be a more neutral riding position for the bike so that you and the passenger have more improved comfort. And you're gonna see it does have uh, premium finishes on it, including the colored stitching to complement the bike. And of course the Alcantara uh, material right around the edge of it for a really premium look on this bike. Speaking of the seat, just under the seat, you do have your suspension settings on this bike. Uh, one of the biggest improvements, actually two of the biggest improvements on this bike are one, you have 50% more travel in the rear suspension than you've had in any previous suspension on a CVO. You also now have a two-stage adjustable suspension. So you have adjustments under your seat, which accommodate the weight on the bike, but also around the side here, you do have the hydraulic knob to adjust your comfort while riding. Um, the one-touch adjustable knob is accessible right here without having to remove the bag. So that is a significant upgrade from any model that we've seen in the past. You're going to notice some of the details on the bike, like the adversary collection is new for this bike for this year. Uh, so it just gives the bike a whole new, more aggressive look. And you're also going to notice that you have a taller and more straighter bar on this bike. So that improves your rider comfort quite a bit. You also have your top clamp up here, which is exposed now rather than being inside the fairing. So this allows you to have 27 degrees of movement on your bars. So if the bars don't quite fit you right when you sit on the bike, it's a really simple fix without having to go with an after aftermarket set of bars if that's not the direction you're looking to go. Um, you're also going to see you have redesigned housings for all of your controls. Uh, it's a very intuitive system. They are also backlit. And if you come over here, you're gonna see you do have heated grips. New design actually has a three-step button on the outside. It's just push button for one, two, or three for your heat settings. Um, and it's all illuminated and shows up right on the dash with your bike so you know exactly what's going on. Um, speaking of the dash on this bike, you have a whole new dash cluster, uh, which is a 12.1 inch digital display. It is touchscreen integrated. You are gonna have variable ride modes for the rider. So you're gonna have three stock modes and then you're gonna have two customizable modes, which the variable valve timing again comes in super handy for, because you can customize this bike for the way that you wanna ride it. And the motor is gonna be able to keep up with it and accommodate the way that you want to ride. <clears throat> you do have improved storage now as well. You got the two pockets on the side as you have always had. Um, so 
much deeper, much larger. They can accommodate a bigger phone. Uh, they can accommodate chips and salsa if you want, uh, if that's the kind of route that you want to take. But you do have the space in here available for that. And again, your Rockford Fosgate audio system uh, is a full stage two system uh, with improved sound. Uh, but if you want even louder, if you want even bigger, stage three is now available this year. Um, so that's gonna give you even more performance and it's cutting edge, it's the first of its kind for this motorcycle. The new dash tank is also an integrated design. It's designed to give the tank a longer, leaner profile. It still is a six gallon tank. The biggest benefit here is rather than having to deal with a pop-up twist for your fuel fill or having to remove a gas cap and putting it somewhere, it's a simple one touch and lift and you have access to your fuel tank. Coming up front to the new redesigned fairing, you're gonna have a whole host of new features on here. You do have an air vent up here, which is adjustable up to 60 degrees. You're also gonna notice you have an additional vent right up here underneath the windshield. And the windshield itself is wider, which reduces your buffeting by about 60% on the bike while you're riding. Um, then coming around front, one of my favorite features on this bike is the tube style LED headlight, uh, which has a signature W feature in it. So it's a uh, you know, really dynamic design on this bike and it does have integrated turn signals up here, which is going to eliminate the need for any of the bullet turn signals that you've seen in the past. So again, a whole host of premium features that we have not seen on Harley Davidson's before. So if you're interested in checking this one out, uh, we do have one here. We also have a beautiful color coming called Whiskey Neat. So we are really looking forward to that. We're really excited to see that when it comes in. But if you have any questions on this, any of the accessories on the bike, any of the available options for 2023, uh, please give us a call at 802-476-6104 or swing on down and give us a visit. Thanks for watching.